area, while we currently have it phased as a three-phase construction, uh, could very well end up being a single construction project in the event that a project came in that needed that large of an area. So, um, for FAA funding, and you guys are well aware of this, uh, we know that we're not going to get more than, than two, three million dollars a year in FAA funding. So we have to plan accordingly to what we anticipate getting from the FAA. If a project of the magnitude that needs something larger than one or two modules were to come in, uh, at that point we would be looking probably to the state of Georgia, to the Department of Economic Development, to the federal government through the EDI program. There are other funds that are available uh, when you have a bird in hand. So um, that area continues on many of our maps and many of our exhibits that we show to Georgia Department of Economic Development and Prospects continues to be shown as a single track. So I wanted to explain why on some maps it shows up as a single track and on this map it shows up as, as three different modules. So I hope that makes sense and uh, again we'll go through this process uh, again 11 or 12 months from now as uh, the airport continues to grow and continue to have other operators come in and look at uh, moving into the airport. Um, any question from board members? Um, Blake, uh, is, we, plan. is the reason we don't put the 911 in air, uh, fire station is because it's a county project? Or? That That is correct. We typically don't put county projects on here. The reason that we put the road on here, even though it's a county project, is because without the road, uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do Module 1, Module 2, or Module 3. You have to have the road in order to have the infrastructure in place to get to uh, these areas in order to develop them and in order to use them. So we put the road on here for that purpose. But yeah, we, we could go ahead and put the fire station on there. It wouldn't hurt anything to have it on there. But this is, again, submitted to the FAA. And the FAA, uh, to a large extent, is not concerned about the fire station because it is a, a county project and it's not being submitted to them for funding. So, uh, but we could put it on for informational purposes would be fine. Yes, ma'am. Um, could you send that out to the, the board? Yeah, absolutely. As an email? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I, we're going to go ahead and put this on our website okay. so that it's available um, because obviously this amount of information can't be digested right. in, in this setting. So we're going to go ahead and put this on our website so the public can access it and uh, anyone else can access it who would like to. Could you send it to the board? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate that. Any other questions on the uh, government approval plan? Very good job. Very good job. Very good job, Mark. Appreciate that. Very clear. Okay. Moving along. Approval of supplement design agreement with Baker Group for taxway design. Yeah. Yeah. We have. Uh, we went back and forth and around and around on the taxiway design, as you're all aware. Uh, the taxiway design started off as a, as a single component, and uh, then it changed to a three-phase construction, then it changed to a single-phase construction. If you would, we have a request to speak up just a notch. Okay. Um, we, we went through multiple design iterations on the taxiway. It, it started as, as a partial taxiway project, uh, mostly from the connector back to the east. Then it changed to a three-phase construction project, and then it changed to a single-phase construction project, which is ultimately what we put out to bid and what we awarded to Astra contractors. So through that process, uh, since we went through three completely different design iterations on the project, we ended up having an overage on the design fee for the project. So. Uh, the overage on the design fee is about $35,000. Uh, considering the amount of work that they had to go through on, on all three of those, um, I think that they did a very, very good job of keeping that cost down. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it's not higher than what it was. So uh, we need to amend the existing contract that we have with Michael Baker to uh, compensate for the overage on the design. Uh, this is a contract that uh, we have an agreement with, uh, with Silver Comet that we do 50-50 uh, funding for the design on this. So the $35,000 uh, is not all our bill. We'll split this 50-50 with Silver Comet. And of course this is reimbursable by the FAA uh, as well. So at some point in time we will get 90% uh, back on this as well. So. Um, 
uh, again, the, the design iterations, I think, were absolutely 100% necessary uh, because we did not uh, know at the initial outset uh, what we were going to do as far as the construction of the taxiway. And we needed to look at all options in order to make an educated uh, decision as to what was the best option for us. And I will tell you that the, the option that we ended up choosing, the final option, saved us way more than $35,000, way more. So they more than made up for it uh, with the final uh, design and the uh, bids that were received. So um, I'd like to get an approval on that today if we can. Second. All in favor. Uh, we discussed last month that uh, we have uh, uh, seen some, some major reductions in uh, traffic and fuel cells to uh, the FBO uh, due in a large part to the construction that's taking place on the airfield. Uh, as we currently uh, don't have uh, don't have a parallel well taxiway, uh, taxiways uh, Alpha, Bravo, uh, Charlie are all closed. So uh, it has been uh, a financial burden on the FBO. Uh, I told you that I would come back to you this month with some numbers to let you know uh, kind of how the FBO is doing and uh, talk about uh, the potential for uh, some relief for those guys on uh, on their on the rent due to the uh, reduction in business that they're, they're seeing uh, from the construction. In November, their fuel sales compared to FY, or compared to calendar year 11 and 12, we went back two years and looked at the previous two years. So uh, compared to 11 and 12, their November numbers were down 69% in fuel sales. And in December, their numbers were down 62% in fuel sales. So those fuel cells are their main uh, revenue flow for the FBO. So obviously the, the construction is having an impact on uh, their revenues and their, their abilities to generate, uh, generate profits at the, at the, at the FBO. Uh, don't yet obviously have January numbers because we're just halfway through January, but I can tell you that, that I've looked at the January numbers and they're, they're, they're way down. They're, they're in line with what we saw in November and December. So uh, it appears to me as though, uh, you know, we will need to make some adjustments for the FBO in order to compensate for the uh, reduced revenues due to the construction. Um, we don't necessarily have to make a decision on that today. We can wait and see what the uh, January numbers look like, or we can wait till the end of the project. So uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not advocating that we have to do something today. But I do want to, to let you all know that uh, the FBO is seeing uh, a hardship and they are seeing uh, significantly reduced, re reduced revenues. And I do think that that is in large part due to the construction and taxiways being closed. Um, can't say that that's 100% of the reason. Uh, can't say that's 90% of the reason. But um, it, it is obviously a large part of it. So I uh, wanted to put that out to you. And uh, if. Uh, if we want to take action on that today, we can. If we want to wait and see what, what January, February numbers look like, we can. But uh, it, it's open for discussion. Is time of the essence play in terms of their, their bottom line of funding? Um, I don't know that it, that it is. Um, certainly, I think uh, it, it, would, it would give them some relief to know that, uh, that we're considering this and that uh, some, some help hopefully is coming. Uh, I don't think it's imperative that we make a decision today. But uh, I do think that we need to uh, we need to, we need to do something, and if we don't do it uh, this month, uh, the next month, or the following month, I, I don't want to see us put this off for, for six months. I, I think we do need to do something sooner as opposed to later. I agree with that 100. percent Have they come to you with any kind of deal? No, they they haven't. Um, you know, they they came to me to express their concern over the reduced uh, fuel 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 sales. And uh, to let me know that they felt like the construction and not having the taxiways was, uh, in, in a large part, the, the reason for that. And I really can't disagree. I mean, without a parallel taxiway, 
a lot of their traffic is generated from uh, student student pilots, and without a parallel taxiway, uh, those types of, of uh, flights probably aren't going to take place because uh, student pilots are not going to be uh, comfortable uh, operating without uh, without a parallel taxiway. Now, I will say that the weather in December was rather awful, and uh, their numbers probably would have been down some anyway. But 62% uh, to 69% between November and December is is a very sharp drop. Well, let's just brainstorm here. What are you thinking? Well, based on those numbers, I'm thinking a 50% reduction in uh, in rental fees would would be appropriate. It's in line with what they've seen in terms of reductions of, of their business. So, uh, if we went back and did a 50% reduction in uh, in rent starting in November. And, uh, well, and lasting the duration of the construction. Once the taxiway is back open, then certainly there's no reason for us to do that, to continue that. But uh, I think uh, with 69 and 62%, 50% seems to be about where I'm comfortable uh, in terms of uh, you know, our participation. I'm okay with getting a vote on it today. Let's move it forward. Okay. I agree with that too. Any, any type of customer beyond the technology issue customer, that type of thing going on is clearly a deterrent yeah. for any customer. So I think that's justified. Yeah. Yeah. So they help them stay in business anyway. I mean, I think we need to help them out. I would think so. I'm sure they'd be much more appreciated. Okay, so we need a motion. Uh, moved as, yeah. moved as, as uh, recommended. Okay. Yeah. Second. 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 Fifty percent. Fifty percent. All in favor? All right. All Retention policy, Tom. Okay. This is just a uh, policy that uh, gives some direction to employees about what doc older documents they can and can't keep. We do not have a formal policy right now, and so this is simply a, uh, a policy.